welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm doubling up on cameras here. I don't know how well it's going to work. I'm going to try and merge them together and see what happens. If there is not two cameras on the screen when you watch the video, then I haven't been able to use my technologically uh, declined brain to get it working. Right, unboxing. Now, I've known this parcel has been coming. I know who sent it and I know there's been several hands involved in it, uh, two of which being Shaving with Chief and I am CDB and obviously Marion himself, Marion the Barbarian has been involved in some of the things in here as well as a result of a trade with him for my Sapona Beachio Varacino shaving grail bowl and a couple of other bits and bobs. Now the box, I can't even fit it onto my table, it is absolutely massive. Well my table, I say my table, my ensuite sink unit. But <laughs> there is the box, it is freaking massive, <laughs> absolutely massive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unbox this from the floor. I've already sliced open the sellotape but I have not looked inside. This is the first time I've opened it. Now I am expecting a lot of packaging because I have seen how Marion packages his parcels and I mean this just, I mean this is obviously wrappers and things that he's picked up along the way from stuff that he's ordered and just uh, as far as I'm aware he takes no prisoners when it comes to Stuff like that. So I shall start at the top. So straight off the bat, there is a strop. What it is? Imperial Leather, Illinois Razor Strop Company, Chicago. Plus a canvas one as well. Now a lot of this stuff in here, the people that have sent it have asked to remain anonymous. I know there's one thing in here from I am CDB, which I will mention when I get it. Sharing with Chief helped with the, the postage costs. I don't believe there was anything in the actual post parcel from him. Oh, lovely strop. I've never had an actual high quality strop. This thing's really nice. Hang on a minute. Let me just... So it says on there, Imperial Russia. Illinois Razor Strop Company, Chicago. What's that say down there? 827. I don't know what that means. And obviously we've got on the back here as well. Barber's Best Fine Weave Linen Finish. This is when this camera comes into its own. So obviously you can hopefully see from the other camera as well. If I've got that, I'll show you some different angles of it. I don't know how well that's going to work. What a lovely strop. I'm, I'm assuming you never use this side. <laughs> then again, you never know. I've got absolutely no idea. It does have a little sort of screw up here that you can, looks like you can remove that screw. I'm not 100% sure, but and obviously that's your little clip thing for hooking onto things so that you can hold it on the wall and strop your razors. I'm just going to set that to the side and pull out the next thing. The next thing is once again wonderfully wrapped and you can possibly see through the bubble wrap. Is Central Texas Soaps handcrafted exclusively for West Coast shaving and it is Mr. Pepper, not Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pepper. Let's have a whiff. It, is, it smells exactly like Dr. Pepper. It smells brilliant. Yeah. I actually liked Dr. Pepper when I was younger. I don't drink fizzy soft drinks anymore, I just don't drink them, they're just not something. I wonder how good that is over there as well. <laughs> Yeah, I've never used Dr. I've never had a Dr. Pepper for a long, long time now. Never had it. I have it. I'm a little bit excited by this. Please excuse my lack of English. Whoa, oh, look at that. What have we got here? Malaco Fruxo Original. I'm assuming these are like chuppa chups. I'm not going to have them. What I probably will do with them is chuck them in for the kids. Right, now I've got... Holy shit, so many boxes in here. I'm going to leave the boxes to them, I'm going to try and grab whatever's loose in this box. Right, I'm sure everyone is familiar with that. That is a Matty Lindholm Shaving Supplies Soap. Now this is one of the things that Marion sent me over as part of the trade. These arrived the day that he sent this parcel, I think, and as you can see, mate, it arrived spick and span, spot on. And that is quite clearly orange, and it smells absolutely lovely. 
it's not a massive puck of soap. Is it hard? God, it's pretty hard. That's a pretty hard little puck of soap. Now, I believe from memory, it's got a V25 on there. I'm assuming that would be version 25, or is it? I'm not sure. 25 iterations before we got to this one. It's pretty hard. I do quite like the packaging. It's very minimalistic. It's obviously eco-friendly. I'm assuming that the string is, I think strings made out of leaves from memory, if it's real string. And yeah, a little bit of paper on it. Really, really nice. And I think that'll be my shave of the day today. As a thank you to Mario for putting this together. Right, let's have another day. And <laughs> What else have we got here? I've never seen so many foam beads. I think that's what they call them. Packaging beads. There is literally the box is absolutely chock a block full of them. Now I'm glad I brought my trusty knife in. Now this is an absolutely shit knife, but it does a trick for unboxings. I don't care if it gets covered in cellar tape and crap and gunge. So let's crack this one open and see what's in here. It's like there's four boxes inside this massive box. And there's a box within the box. And the box says Magical Dorian Crafts. So I'm assuming this is a Dorian shaving brush. Oh, what a lovely box! Really, I mean, it's made out of pine. He's clearly done a lot of work on the top here with some form of sort of, I'm assuming that's done by heat, is it? Oh no, it's actually engraved in there. So here we go, let's pop this open and have the first look at it. There we go. It is badger. Oh, that's a really nice brush. Wow, check that out. Now, I will be honest, this isn't my sort of colour scheme. These are pretty much the colours of Rangers Football Club, which, as you know, as a Celtic man, not my thing. Blue and orange. But that is a beautiful brush. It looks like it's got a very nice knot in it. I'm not sure what the knot is, but that's a really nice looking brush. And it smells pretty much brand new. I don't know whether it is brand new or not. Absolutely stunning. Very well packaged as well, well presented from Dorian Crafts. I have seen the brushes before from Dorian and I've actually been quite intrigued by them. They're really nice looking brushes, a little bit different, a lot of them, a little bit out there. Right, let's chuck that box to the side. There's another box in here, what's this one? Right, this box is a lot lighter. So I'm assuming all these boxes here are boxes that Marion has received and he's just chucked all this stuff into all these boxes separately. So it's pretty much the soaps that were sent. There is soaps in here that I don't know what they all are. I know a couple of them that were part of the trade with Marion. Have I opened that enough? Oh, it opens up that one. So I've cracked this one as well. I have no idea. So this is very light, this one. Okay, so in here it looks like a chevette or a straight razor. Now let us crack this open. So that is what it came like again. Once again, just heaps of bubble wrap, heaps of packaging. Let's see if I can cut through this sailor tape yet with my knife that is getting ever so blunt without damaging the razor itself. It is a straight razor. It is a straight razor, <laughs> which is caked in oil. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm struggling to pull it out without dropping it. Holy shit, check that out. I'm just going to just wipe this down on my towel before I put it on the camera. That 
That's absolutely amazing. Check that out. Or not, don't check it out. Come on, focus. Wow. The scales on this are purple, which pretty much matches my that damn raw brush. Check that out. The blade looks beautiful. I love the end of it as well. I don't know what that's called, that type of point. But it is, as you can probably see from that side, J.A. Henkel Solingen Zwillingswerk. Zwillingswerk, something like that. And on the other side, we have got Friadur Inox No Stain Germany. And right on the tang here, we have got a number 72. So I don't know what that means in terms of what it is. I would say, just looking at it, it's possibly quarter hollow. I don't know. I don't think it's a full hollow, but I'm not. I'm by no means a master of razors at all. I will say the edge on it looks very clean now. One thing I do know about this razor is it was, excuse me, the edge on it was done by Max Spricker. So that's all I know. And that's absolutely beautiful. I love how tight this is as well. I don't know, these are obviously not the original scales. Oh, that looks amazing. And I can't wait to try it. I've never seen a Henkel's with this little part here, sort of worn down. If, if anything, if I'm honest, the blade looks brand new. It looks absolutely brand new. Wow. Beautiful. I mean, you can see the detail on there. How perfectly these scales have been put together. The spacer just has no... There's no gaps on it. It looks tightly. The, the pins are just brilliant. There's a bit of weight to this as well. That is a heavy, heavy blade. That's incredible. I'm going to set this to the side gently in the hope that it doesn't get scratched. In fact, I'll put it on this side on top of my towel. Well, that was pretty damn good. Let's, um, <laughs> let's crack another open. Right, this one's pretty heavy. So I'll just bang this open. This one is a, as you can see, Phoenix Artisan accoutrements package. This is really heavy, this box. I've got no idea what's in it. But let's have a look. Okay, I can see straight away. Ah, ah. Right, one of these was sent from IMCDB. There's two in here, so that gives me one for a giveaway as well. I don't know where the other ones come from, who sent that one. But it is the Focus Slim. Chevet, which I've always sort of liked that sort of modern look to it. It's got a very industrial modern look to it. Let's just slide this out and have a look. And this thing looks absolutely brand new. Oh, it's quite a nice weight to just wipe some of that off. There we go. The Focus Slim. So I am seeing, in fact, I'm assuming this one's been used because it's got a blade in it. So I'm assuming this is probably the one that I am CDB has sent, I'm not sure. So it's just got a nice weight to it, it's not too heavy, it's not heavy at all, it's all aluminium construction. I don't know whether, oh yeah, that's just little sort of rivet marks there. For actually sliding along and holding the blade in place. It does take half DE blades, I believe you have to use half snapped DE blades because the little bent bit on it actually holds it into the, into the slot better. I think you have to do that, I'm not sure. And you can probably just see on there. Made in Italy. Alumin 100% aluminium, made in Italy, registered. Focus. Just had to turn it around to read it because I can't see it in the camera. But what a lovely razor. And Chris, mate, thank you very much for sending that. And like I said, there was actually two in this box. This one's a little bit loose. So I might even have the loose one, obviously. But there's one in here as well. So there's two Focus Slims. <laughs> Incredible. So we pop that one to the side. I'll pop it back in the box. You can have a look at my massive forehead for a little bit while I sort this. Holy shit. Do you know something? The generosity in this. Now, I have to say that I don't know how much this box costs to send. It would have cost an absolute arm and a leg, a fortune to send. 
It took a long time to get here, I've got to say. There was a few issues and a few bumps along the way. But just incredible. Now, there is two, four, six soaps in here and a packet of... Ooh. Don't know who sent me these, but hope oh, these look. These are my kind of thing. Vintage shape double edge plus platinum blades. You can't buy a more durable, longer lasting double edge blade. Check that out. I mean, it's five blades. Now, I, as you know, I love Gillette spoilers and vintage Aussie spoilers, all the, the vintage blades. They do last longer in general than modern blades. Although I have found the Paul Silvers and the Wizomet to be very good, long lasting, durable blades. But for some reason, the way these were built back in the day, they just seem to work better. Right, here we go. Soap number one from this pack, from this box. I think there's one box left after this. Oh, I can smell through this bubble wrap already, sort of smelling. Right, this one is such a mess in the bathroom, this is unreal. This comes from Spearwood Shaving Company. Now, I think this is a new company that does the soaps at very, very good prices. So it is oak moss and sandalwood. Sandalwood is not a scent that I used to be a fan of. Let's see if this... That's a really nice scent. It's almost cologne -y. And I think the more that I've been getting into woodsy type scents and colognes and, and EDPs and things, it's quite light on scent out the tub right now. I would give it probably like a 3 out of 10. But that's actually a very nice scent. Oak moss and sandalwood. Who would have thunk it that I would actually like a sandalwood scent? I have been more and more drawn to sandalwood of late. I find it works very well as a as a sort of mixing agent for other scents, scents that might be too strong and they're Fuck, he's just saying. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. This is probably one of my, if not my favourite barbershop scent. Looks it's had a bit of a sample taken out, but oh, it's just brilliant. I don't have to talk about good vibrations, it's absolutely sensational. Do you know what? If that other box is full of soaps, it's going to fill up my whole freaking thing. Right, what have we got here? We have got grooming department with a donkey on the front. I think it's a donkey, looks like a donkey. Has it got the scent on it? Has the, is there a scent to this? There is a scent to this. What is that? I'll tell you what that reminds me of a little bit. It reminds me of Fougere Gothique from Barrister Man. That's a really nice scent. It's quite... I'd say it's getting stronger actually the more I'm leaving it open. It reminds me of Fougere Gothique. I don't know what the scent on this is. I will have to look it up. There's nothing else written on the top. The ingredients are in there. But there's nothing on the ingredients to see what it actually is. Or what the scent is, I don't know. I will, <laughs> the soap has definitely shrunk. <clears throat> That's for sure. So that'll need to get sorted. I can't deal with those big gaps down the side. Yeah, I, I like that scent. That's quite a, quite a dirty cologne type scent. It's really nice. I don't know what the scent actually is, but I hopefully will find out. Oh, Jesus, I nearly threw that away. Oh, check it out. I've wanted to try this stuff since I've seen it. Made by Peter Charcalis over at Ariana and Evans. This is Kaizen, or Kaizen, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I think it means continually improving. I think that's what it means from what I've read from everyone else and heard from everyone else. There is the ingredients list right there. The labels are lovely. This one has obviously been used, but... Oh, that's really nice. This is citrus, this is citrusy. But that reminds me of something. No, I can't get it in my head. I can't think what that scent is that I'm smelling. That brings a memory back to me and I will seek out that memory from my shitty memory banks. I will find out what that is in my nose. That smells great. Obviously, I've seen so many people use it in the performance of it. It's another soap I've never used. Southern Witchcrafts. Anthropophagy. Is that right? Anthropophagy? That's a big freaking word, that. 
Tonka, musk, lavender and cotton. Artisan handcrafted shave soap made in Tucker, Georgia. That's a, that's a really nice label. It's quite muted, the colours. They're very, very sort of satin. They're not uh, bright colours. Let's have a smell. That's a really light scent. It's, once again, around about a three in scent strength. I couldn't tell you what it smells like. I haven't smelled anything like that before. It's just light. It smells slightly sweet. But that's about all I get from it. I'm not getting any lavender, surprisingly. It's normally quite strong. Tonk is quite a strong scent as well. I don't know. Maybe that'll be one that'll open up once I get some water into it and actually lather up. Right, we have got some Murphy and McNeil. Old Sport. Kodiak shaving soap. Now I don't know, I think Kodiak might, might be his latest formula. I am not sure. There is the ingredients list on the back. This one's brand new. And that's got a sort of leathery tobacco type scent, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. But I will... I've had something similar to this before. My nose is whistling when I'm breathing in. Fucking hell, that's... So we've got, what, two, four, six, seven soaps. I've got a nice, that's really nice, that. A little hand-crafted marble dice. I think, it's, I think it's crafted out of marble or granite, something like that. I do actually use these, believe it or not. I don't use them on camera or anything, but whenever I take a blade out of a razor, I've actually got little cubes that I've used from Artisan Arcade. But these are actually handmade, that's really nice. I do like natural stone, I think it's a beautiful thing. My, myself and my youngest son, when I was his age, we used to, well, he does now, he is gemstone daft, as I was as a kid as well. Persona hair shaper blades. Who would have thought? I'll be able to try these ones out in the, the wick, the wick, in the wick. I believe these are the ones that you need to mute the corners on if you don't want to slice your face to smithereens but we shall see right there is another pretty big box here and this is quite heavy as well I'm not sure the total weight of this box I haven't checked the label or anything it's so well packaged I've never seen I'll try and lift this box up to show you all the foam peanuts. Foam peanuts, that's what they're called. Well, that's what most people call them anyway. Let's see if I can open this without blowing the place up. Right. Everything in here is bubble wrapped. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, we have got... <laughs> well, there's something in here that I have wanted for a very, very, very long time and have been absolutely unable to get my hands on it. And it'll be second out of this box. But the first one is this. It's in Gary Man Unscented Seagull Aftershave Soap Balm. Is it Aftershave? No, Seagull Aftershave Balm. Unscented. I'll have a whiff and make sure how unscented it is. It smells like. Almost smells a little bit like a light scented paint, like a, an acrylic paint or something like that that an artist would use. Nice glass bottle. Now obviously there's a little bit, there's a little bit of contention in the air at the moment with, with this stuff. It does contain a product called urea, which, which aids in the absorption of water. So it's so it used quite a lot. That's not even the ingredients list I showed you. I don't know what the frick I showed you there. So you go after shave is especially formulated for freshly shaved skin. Do you know what? I've chucked worse things on my face to be honest, so I couldn't really care what's in most balms, especially for my times. They generally do a bit of research on what they use, but there's obviously a little bit of contention in the air with it. Right, I'm going to open this one next. I have wanted this stuff for so long, I've never got my hands on it. It will drive the wife absolutely bananas. I can't believe how much stuff is in this box. 
Arthurian Man diamond. Now this has been used. You can see it's a little, it's a little bit lower than the top. I don't have much of the soap left, to be honest. Oh, what a scent! I can't wait to use this stuff. I really can't. I've wanted this in my den for so long, and I just, you just can't get it in Australia anymore. And being alcohol based, you can't have it shipped over. Right, what we have here. <laughs> Well packaged once again. You've probably seen the sort of label and stuff on it. Let me see if I can get this out. Jesus. Well, one thing's for sure. We know Marion packed all of this because he is the ultimate man of packing, packing stuff and then overpacking the packing of the packing. After shave cologne made in the sunny pride, made with pride in sunny Arizona. What's the scent on it? Has it got a scent on it? it just says after shaving cologne. Splashes are well known for being one of the best. So that's the box. I think, I think this is a doppelganger. So I'm assuming it will smell like something that's already on the market from a big brand or an older brand, I'm not sure. <sighs> ah, fucking hell. Brand new bottle. Good vibrations. After shaving, I fucking love this stuff, honestly, it's just so good. Well, there's something that I haven't seen in any of the splash that I've received from an artisan or anything. It's actually sealed. That, that needs to be peeled off. I don't know whether that was done by, in fact, it wasn't, it was definitely done at Phoenix. That is a brilliant idea if you're going to ship stuff all around the world. It stops it leaking out altogether. I don't even need to open it. Oh, that's insane. Honestly, it just, it almost makes my mouth water. It's that good. And I love the bottle. I think Phoenix Artisan accoutrements have really upped the game in the last sort of two or three years. They've always made great products and great looking products. I think Doug, Douglas Smythe, I can't remember his real name, but that is his sort of alter ego. It gives so much energy and so much passion to the hobby. And whether you like him or not, you cannot deny the fact that He's massive in this industry. Of it's such a small thing, traditional wet shaving. There's not many of us really. There's probably a lot more than, than we actually ever find. But here's another one. This will go with my Man United's one. God, that brings back memories. I actually had this soap. I don't have it anymore, sadly. I did offload a few Barristan Man products to raise some funds a while back. But I will use this because this matches my Manchester United so beautifully. It's a very earthy, dark, sort of wet ground type scent. It's really nice. Pop that to the side. <coughs> right, is that it? I say that, is that it? <coughs> As if I'm disappointed. Holy shit. <coughs> oh, get out I'm going to scoop through these beads just to make sure that nothing has been missing. Just, I just want to try and show you this. Check, check that out. Have you ever seen so many freaking foam peanuts? There's nothing else in there, that's just all foam peanuts, but you can see how high it is up in the box. I've just pulled them absolutely everywhere. As the Aussies would say. Get on you, mate. Right. Holy shit. Do you know, I've had some amazing generosity throughout the four years I've been in this hobby. And I'm really, honestly, at a loss for words for not only the amount of things here, but the massive cost involved. It, just for the shipping alone is just enormous. I mean, that, that box must have cost hundreds of dollars to ship, without a doubt, hundreds of dollars with hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in it. I mean, this is obviously a vintage, a vintage Henkel's blade with brand new scales on it. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is a stunning razor and it just goes so well with my That Darn Rob brush with the purples on it. I'm, I'm blown away by it. I think that the generosity that went into this package is undeniably amazing. You know, I mean, and, I, and there's been people that have sent me stuff over the years, and, and everyone, I'm, I'm thankful and gracious of everything. 
It was sent, sent for me to review, sent to use, sent as gifts, piffs, you know, and obviously all the money that I've spent on buying stuff and actually sending stuff out all around the world. I mean, I, I, I've given back my fair share, let's just say. I'm not one to, to rest in my laurels and actually just take all this stuff and do nothing back. I've given a lot of expensive stuff away and just piffed it to people and sent them gifts and things like that. I've done giveaways along the way and of course the giveaways have slowed down a lot but there will be a giveaway as a result of this package. Now one thing that I'll definitely be giving away is one of these. Now this will be part of, this will be pretty much my 5,000 subscriber giveaway and it's obviously come as a result of massive generosity within this community and I'm, I'm just blown away, I really am, I, can't, I cannot emphasise it enough. I mean I am, I'm 30 minutes into an unboxing video, that's just unheard of. Maybe not 30 minutes in my videos, but for an unboxing to have such a massive, exciting unboxing experience is just incredible. And look, I didn't pay a cent for this, nothing. This was just sent to my door from Marion as a result of a sort of collaboration with other YouTubers and friends within the shaving community to send all this stuff over. It, it, it is incredible generosity. And those that have sent me the stuff that I know of that are not to be mentioned that aren't, aren't being mentioned, I can't thank you enough. Honestly, it's, this is huge, absolutely huge. But as of today, I've got two days growth. I'm going to be using this because I think Matty Lindholm over in Sweden would love to see what I can do with this soap. I'll be using this because I, I can't honestly wait to use it. And I hope, fingers crossed, that the edge on it is good enough for me because if it's not, I'll be absolutely gutted because this is just one beautiful looking razor. I love how tight that pin is. I know that'll loosen off over time, but that's super tight. I mean, you're, even up to there, it doesn't move. I love that. It feels secure, it feels well made, and it's just absolutely stunningly finished. It's perfect. It's, it's literally perfect. There's nothing on it that, that screams not perfect. It's beautiful. And yeah, just amazed. And the other thing that I'll be giving away, which I, I may use on the, I'll probably use it on the channel just to give it a go and see how it feels. I've never used one before, the Dorian crafts which I will then sanitize and clean out before I send it off but that'll be a part of the 5,000 5, subscriber giveaway and honestly massive thanks to IMCDB Chris Bailey over there and Shaving with Chief I don't even, I don't even know Shaving Chief's name and, and to be honest with you I haven't really had much interaction with the bloke I've watched quite a lot of his videos he seems a really down-to-earth guy and look I'm just amazed I'm blown away absolutely blown away just phenomenal no, right down to the lollipops. Thank you very much, Marion, for sorting it all out and sending this huge parcel over. And just, I don't know what to do now. It's going to take me 20 minutes just to pick up the foam peanuts, for Christ's sake. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a huge unboxing. It was a long unboxing. And I hope I, if I can get both cameras sort of sorting it out. I don't know how this works. I don't know whether it will sync up or not. I've got absolutely no idea how to do it. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error on my part to try and get these to work. But yeah. It's not much more I can say other than thank you. A really massive thank you. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys very soon for a shave. Cheers.